Hello and welcome to another video on Ark Survival Ascended. In this video I'm going to show you the central cave. This cave, uh, In this cave you can get the artifact of the clever. This you will need for the Broadmother boss fights. This cave is also relatively easy to do. Um, I would say the central cave, the lower south cave, and maybe the lava cave are the kind of easier ones. Those are the ones which you need the artifacts for the Broadmother boss fights. So, yeah, anyway, here we are at the central cave. So this is right by the volcano on the island map. Um, here you have the coordinates where the entrance is, 40.2 latitude, 46.2 longitude. Uh, if I just... Oh zoom out a little on the map also you can see that it's pretty much right off the side of the volcano so not too hard to find either you'll pretty much see the entrance quite easily especially if you fly in um so yeah first of all before we head in what do you need for this cave or as i head in once again first of all you can always put a sleeping bag or make a little base nearby with beds just in case anything goes wrong uh, for this cave we're going to be finding uh, bats, spiders, scorpions, um, there's even sarcos um, near the bottom part of the cave, down in the bottom part, I'll show you that later. Um, and there's also those spitty, wormy things, centipede spitty things, I can never pronounce their name, which destroy your armor. So those are the main enemies in here, so first of all I highly recommend using uh, bringing with you lesser antidote because the bats will very likely give you rabies and that drains your health pretty quickly. So 100% pretty much necessary lesser antidote. Um, some other optional things are you can bring medical brew with you. You could even bring bug repellent if you want to try to avoid some combat but you're gonna need to sneak past and normally there's kind of huge groups of enemies so to be honest in the end it might not be that useful to use bug repellent. Um, of course, the usual things you might want to have with you, food and water, um, and of course, a mount. Again, I always use my dire wolves where I can. Of course, you can use any mount that fits in a cave that you feel comfortable with um, using. I guess I just personally prefer my dire wolves. So here we go. Um, most of the time with this cave, I kind of tend to just stay to the right. I mean, I don't think you can get too lost in this cave. It's pretty straightforward. Um, it kind of ends up down in a in a kind of main chamber where the artifact is, and there's some water down there as well. You don't have to swim though, just so you know. So you don't need really anything for that. Um, so I'm just gonna stick to the right here. As you can already hear, the enemies. <laughs> Ooh, they're getting excited. And as always, let's go past the nice foliage and mushroom. See, as you can see, the enemies are always like in a massive pile, so even with bug rab And I've contracted rabies directly, as you can see. So yeah, definitely last antidote is pretty essential in this cave. That is a lot of bats. So there we go, we've got scorpions as well, we got spiders. Um, I'm not... I don't remember at this moment if there's snakes as well. I don't think so in this cave. Or maybe there are. There might also be snakes. <laughs> Guess we'll find out in a sec. Yep, there's snakes. Okay, there's snakes too. So basically everything that can also tranquilize you. So therefore stims might also be an, a, th a handy thing to bring. Though to be honest, if you're on your mount most of the time, it probably won't be a huge issue. Uh, you might want some for your mount itself, but normally I think you should be alright. Again, in my experience anyway, I've never had that one of my mounts went unconscious because of this, so that's my personal experience. They might get a bit of torpor though. So, as we see, just munching our way through the enemies. Ooh. Yeah, watch out for these guys, because obviously they can destroy your armor. Um, so, if you want to bring spare armor with you, up to you. I don't tend to do that, because I honestly can't really be bothered. 
Oh yeah, there's also dung beetles in here. Obviously they're not aggressive again, maybe for the taming purposes. Oh my gosh, look at all of you. So many. See, even if you had bug repellent, it would be pretty difficult to <laughs> get past all of these guys. Oh no, I pissed off the dung beetles. Oh no. Ooh, I'm getting a bit heavy and let's drop everything quickly because... Oh, I think I got a map in there. Okay, wait. Let me just kill these enemies first. You do tend to take some damage when they're all coming at you at once. You can also try to um, do it more in sections, like try to attract some and get them away from the others so you're not attacking literally all of them at once, like I am here. Whoop. Okay. Let me just go back up here a little. Because this is where we came from, right? This was the right side. Sticking to the right side. And as you can see in this little section, yeah, there's a loot drop. This is a green loot drop, which probably is therefore not too fascinating. Again, if you're looking for high level drops, this is not necessarily the cave for that. Come on, let's get you all killed, please. Um, so over this way, sometimes a drop spawns uh, right here in this corner. There's an explorer note over here. Um, and up this way, there's another explorer note. Can you just die? Can you just die, please? I'm gonna need to heal up a bit as well. This dire wolf doesn't have as much health as some of my other ones, so yeah. I'm gonna need to heal it up a little. But again, let's go back to where we were so we can start in the right place. Let's have a look at this drop. Again, it's probably not too exciting. Oh, actually, that's not a bad blueprint for a hide. Anyway, um. <laughs> well, okay. Well, at this point, let me. I'm gonna just heal my wolf up a little so we can continue. But basically, we're sticking still to the right hand side of the cave with the wall on your right side. Alright, so we've healed up a bit and we're gonna continue. Like I said, we're just gonna follow this path down. And there's already another pile of enemies. Okay, I'm not gonna annoy the dung beetle, because there's no point. Oh, I gotta level up. Let's do my knee. I know, it's very exciting. Cute. So here, I'm just, again, I'm just sticking to the right. You don't necessarily have to, like I said, you kind of get to this main chamber over here where there's there are some pools of water. And that's where the sarcos can be. So, unless you really need to go in the water, I would probably just avoid it really, to be honest. Or if you are farming for sarco skins, then that is a different question as well. But otherwise, I'm just gonna continue around the path, follow it around. So as you can see, there's the pools of water. It's probably some other, yeah, things that get stuck in there. <laughs> anyway, just continuing here again, keeping this wall on our right side. There's going to be some more enemies here. And as you can start to see over there on the right side, there's that glowy effect that we get when there, an artifact is nearby. So you can see pretty easily that it's over there. Oh, how rude of you. You just broke all my armor, apart from my shoes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Those are like my least favorite, those spitty guys. I really don't like you. Don't like you. Oh, here you go, to the right again. We can see the artifact sitting in the middle of that water over here. But let me just get rid of all these enemies first. As you can see just ahead of me, there's also another explorer node here. Mm -hmm. 
You may also know already, but with wool, dire wolves, you can press C and they will sniff out explorer notes and stuff like Pelovias. Though that's not really relevant here, but for the notes, it's kind of handy. Is that everything nearby kind of gone? I think so. So, okay. But once you think it's safe, yeah, you might as well, probably easier to get off your mount and go pick up the artifact. Artifact of the Clever. I used to call this the Artifact of the Cleaver. <laughs> because I, oh, hello. I don't remember you being in here. Okay, apparently these guys are in here. Um. Okay, this is not going very well. Where is my wolf? Wow, this was dramatic. Am I gonna survive? Okay. Okay, well, don't make mistakes like me. I highly advise you to clear all the enemies first. <laughs> like, everywhere. <laughs> to avoid this kind of stuff happening. Okay, so apparently there's, um, what are they called again? Me Megalosaurus? Is it Megalosaurus? I don't know why I annoyed you, sorry. Sorry, dung beetle. <laughs> no. Oh no, now all of you are coming for me. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Yeah, now all the dung beetles are coming for me. Okay, sorry, sorry guys. So, as you can see, in terms of getting to the artifact, it's pretty straightforward. Is that a... is there a juvenile? Wait. Juvenile? Oh, it's only a level 10. Oh yeah, anyway, what was it called? Megalosaurus. Yeah, that's what they're called. Um, I'm gonna, not gonna lie, I don't know if that's a new thing that those are in this cave, or if I just never really came across them very much. <laughs> but, yeah. They're not too much of a, well, especially low levels, are not too much of a threat, to be honest. Um, and, like I said, I think there sometimes are sarcos in here. Don't look very quiet today. There might be a drop underwater as well, but yeah, like I said, in this cave, the drops are not particularly high level drops, so if you are looking for high level items, uh, it's probably not the best place. Um, so yeah, like I said, this chamber at the bottom, you can kind of just walk around it. Um, so you can't really get too lost, to be honest. It goes up to the same path here. As you can see, it splits, but you can basically go all the way around. So you shouldn't really get lost. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this cave. I mean, like I said, there are quite some intense piles of enemies. Um, Again, if you want to bring extra armor because of those spitty guys, that's also a good idea. Um, but yeah, and again, going back, you can actually go either way. I normally stick to the right just to keep things easy, but you can go either way. They come back to the same path. So yeah, let's just head outside. And yet my wolf has lost a bit of health. I did have to heal it up in between. Um, that that kind of stuff really depends on your mount and how strong it is, how much health you have. Um, of course, once again, dire wolves do not have a saddle, so they are a bit more squishy in that sense. But again, they're still my favorites for caves. <laughs> but that's just my personal preference. So yeah, if you have to heal up a little bit in between, that's not really much of a problem. But yeah, otherwise, pretty easy to do. Uh, that's the central cave. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions about it, feel free to ask in the comments. And if not, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next one.